doing some electrical work today. Uh, down in the... We got a positive bus bar and a negative bus bar. And I've just cut all the wires. Back here it used to go to the existing switch panels back there. And now the panel I made on the last video is inside the cabin right in there. So all the wiring will just goes up right through here. And then these connections right here go right down to the batteries. You know, I probably mount a solar controller here when I get solar panels. This is the bilge pump right here, which goes to the new switch inside the cabin. So I'm using these eye connectors. So you want to give it a tug to make sure it doesn't pull off. It's not. And we're going to connect this to the positive bus bar. Alright, so I got to extend some of these wires so I'm Placing them and soldering them. Now I can see. So these wires that came all the way from the stern through here, back under the cockpit, cockpit are four wires. And they were connected to one of these switches. One said anchor, uh, spreader. So I'm thinking those two are on the mast. And one said running lights. Not sure what that means. And then there's a mystery brown wire in that bundle. But the mast has a four pin connector. So hopefully those all go to the mast. And I can hook that up with the plug and when I get it wired up, see which switch operates which light, hopefully. But I'm not sure if this brown one is maybe a ground. Because it wasn't marked. So I'm soldering these. Those will be waterproof and they could never uh, come apart. It'll always be a good electrical connection. So now I'm going to run these cables on this side of the boat under the cockpit to the other side into the new switch panel. I installed some of these little plastic uh, cable ties with a screw. something else that was connected up to the old switch panels so and ground this to the new ground bus bar
Okay, I've got the switch panel and the uh, USB panel all wired up and all the existing light wires that I found. So I'm going to have to tidy up this with some zip ties and make it nice and neat. And then eventually I'm going to have to get solar panels so I can, and another battery. I'm going to make a battery tray for two batteries, and that's just a temporary battery right there. Okay, I got some of the switch panel wired up. I got positive and negative here coming from positive negative bus bar. So I have power. So that's going to go back to the bus bar. Okay, I've soldered a negative wire this switch on the uh, voltmeter and USB bar and then a positive wire and these are going to go through the back here down into the below the cockpit to the bus bars it's going to go right there Batteries at 12.3 volts, and I have all the uh, light wires connected up to this panel. Okay, everything's in and wired. Now we'll see if all the lights go on. Okay, try the first switch which says running light. And that's the bow light. Even though there was another light label, labeled bow light. So let's see what this other one's getting. So that says 12.3 volts. Okay. I got the bow lights working, which is awesome. They labeled them running lights on the old switch. 
Uh, stay tuned. Next episode, we'll finish the bilge pump and other projects. Thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe if you like this channel. See you next time.